vanished without a trace. The mystery deepening of our 30 ton rail shipment of chemical explosives, which disappeared on its way from Wyoming to California last month. The cargo being transported on a Union Pacific Railroad freight consisting of 60,000 pounds of ammonium nitrate, which doubles as fertilizer and a deadly explosive, similar to what was used in the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing. Ken Strange is a former FBI agent with Joint Terrorism Task Force and author of A Cop's Son, One G-Man's Fight Against Global Jihad, Global Fraud, and the Jihad. Tony Cardwell is president of the Brotherhood of Maintenance of Way Employees, a division at the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. We appreciate both of you gentlemen being on today. Uh, Ken, if I could start with you, again, uh, ammonium nitrate used to make fertilizer, but also the key ingredient many may know from the 1995 terrorist attack on the, uh, the Murrah building in Oklahoma City. You hear that, you see the headline. Is there reason to worry? Ken, your thoughts. Well, yes, yeah, so, you know, of course, uh, I'm, I'm concerned. Uh, the, you know, the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, uh, the intelligence community, even the EPA, you know, have a clear interest in being aware of, uh, of such an event. Um, and, and for the reasons that you mentioned, we know that ammonium nitrate uh, has a dual usage uh, characteristics. Uh, it's used as a fertilizer for agriculture, but you know, when you, um, when you combine ammonium nitrate with aluminum <clears throat> and tin and uh, diesel fuel, it can become a, a potentially uh, dangerous, uh, dangerous bomb. So in this case, uh, it appears it was being shipped in pellet form. There's speculation the ammonium nitrate just kind of fell out of the rail car. The explosives company issuing a statement saying, in part, the rail car was sealed when it left the Cheyenne fat, uh, facility and seals were still intact when it arrived in Saltdale. The initial assessment is that a leak through the bottom gate of the rail car may have developed in transit. So, Tony, to you, what are the odds of this happening? Where is it? When might we find out where it ended up? Yeah, there should be a way of detecting whether it leaked on the, on the ground or not as it, as it traversed the tracks from Wyoming to California. Um, that has not been confirmed, and that's what concerns me. Um, when that is confirmed, that that, that has happened before, um, not with this particular product, but fertilizers and other things as well have leaked onto the ground. Um, this this particular case, they tend to seal the cars, and they assure that those cars are are safe for the for the trip, and and for it to be sealed when it gets there, and them not to know already whether it had leaked out or not is concerning. Um, you would think that there would be piles of this on the ground um, through, throughout the territory that it traversed. And uh, I believe it was switched, the car was switched in the, in the yard partially between Wyoming and California. And so you would think there would be piles in that yard of this product, and there's just there there ha that hasn't been confirmed, and that's I, concerning for me. Yeah, measurable by 30 tons. Uh, you you would think that again. We'll continue to follow that story. Ken Strange, Tony Cardwell, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate that. Thanks for having.